Welcome back to a brand new episode of Master in Programming. In today's episode, we'll be creating the following app, allowing the user to hide and reveal specific views. This should be a quick and easy tutorial, and without further ado, let's dive into it. Welcome back guys, so as always I'll be leaving the simulator open so we can kind of reference back to it and see what we're up to and what we need to complete. I'll also be enabling my canvas you clicking by clicking on the button and then just clicking on the canvas. Also, just for you to know, I'll be using Xcode 11.1, .1, which I believe is the most recent non-beta version. Without further ado, let's get into it. So I already started by creating a stat object and it's going to be a boolean object it's going to be called is fave and i'm going to give it a starting value of false you'll see exactly why we're going to be needing that in just a second now let's start by removing this text because we don't need it and instead what we're going to add is a navigation view start by click by typing in navigation view and you know it's always going to show errors at the beginning but you shouldn't be worrying about that just now inside that navigation view i'm going to be adding a view stack just like this. And inside of that VStack, I'm going to be adding a toggle. Now you can either add all this stuff by typing the code, or you can click on that plus, and I'll show you an example of that, and type in tog, and you'll see that it shows up here. You can hold that and drag it right inside of here. Inside of this, I will type our state value, uh, sorry, our state object, which is called is fave, like that. And I will start it off by binding it by giving it a dollar sign, just like that. Underneath that, I'm actually going to give this a text, and let's give it a text of, sorry, shouldn't be in cap, accidentally pressed on the caps, and that text will be show favorites only. Um, let's see why this is not working. Is on, is that? Oh, sorry. So this is not meant to be capitals. It's meant to be like this. Now this should work. Yes. So as you can see, now we have the exact same text and the exact same toggle that we have in this menu. But you might realize that this is actually a little bit smaller in font from this one. And even if we zoom a little bit, you can still realize that it's kind of a little bit small. To fix this, I'm going to move to the navigation view um, bracket. And all I'm going to say, or all I'm going to add is dot font and inside of that font let's give it a large title let's give it a second to render and as you can see everything inside that navigation view will now have that big and large and clear font even if we add things later on let's move on and start creating our list of animals so i'm going to move under the toggle and all i'm going to do is actually add a list again you can add this like i'm adding it or you can click on the plus button and drag and drop a list inside that list let's first add um uh, the dog so i'm going to add that in a h stack and inside of that let's add a text and we're going to say dogs Next, let's add in um, a spacer. And we're going to be adding an image, which is that star image you're looking at right now. So let's go ahead and we're going to type this and then we're going to say system name. And inside that string, all we're going to do is simply type in star dot fill. And this should have been like that. And now if we just give it a second, you'll realize that straight away we're getting that star sign. But we want it to be a yellow because a dog is my favorite animal and we just want to show that it that it is our favorite. So all, all I'm going to do is simply, first of all, let's make this a little bit bigger. And let's go under the image and we're going to say dot foreground color dot yellow. And in just a second, yep. As you can see, it got added as a yellow button. You also notice how we don't have the dog emoji. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to ask for my emoji menu. I'm going to type in dog and we got it. I think it's that one. And there we go. We have it, but we didn't have, th have this space. I'll actually keep this open or maybe close it for now. And now, as you can see, this is starting to look exactly the same 
as our simulator object, object C. But instead of creating all of this again, all I'm going to do is simply copy and paste this inside the list four times so we can get four animals. And all I'm going to do is come to the second object here and I'll say cats. I'm going to come here and I'm going to say monkeys. And I'm going to move to the last one and I'm going to say rats. So now we have this, uh, the same text but different emojis. So I'm going to move here. I'm going to remove that one. I'm going to ask for my emoji menu again. And I'm going to say cat. And I think it was the angry cat one, that one. Next, let's move to the monkeys and we're going to add a monkey. And do I have it in my recent? No, I don't because I'm not even on the recents. Anyway, let's type in monkey. And we are going to be using that one. And last but not least is the rats. Um, and by that. So now, as you can see, we have the exact same views, except the cats and the rats have the yellow one. So all I'm going to do is simply remove this line of code. And I'm going to be removing this line of code as well. And now I'm going to get to look identical to what we have here. But if you know, I don't know if you ran this already or not, if you click on this button, nothing is changing, nothing is happening. Well, if you click on this one, the views are actually being hidden. In order to allow this to happen, all we need to do is simply move to our, um, give me a second, move to the things that we want to hide. So let's say we're going to be hiding the cats because cats are not our favorite. And all we're going to do is command and click on this H stack. We're going to see the make conditional, we're going to click on make conditional and you're going to realize that it says if true, show this, else empty view. And it says that it will never be executed. So what we need to do is replace this true by an object that is a boolean object that will actually change. Luckily for us, we have an object called is false, uh, sorry, is fave, and the object is always going to be changing from false to true as we are pressing on that toggle button. So we can come ahead. Go ahead, sorry, and replace true by is fave. You'll notice that straight away the cat disappeared. And that's because it's not, sorry, oh, so this is actually meant to be is fave equal to false. And straight away you realize that the cat appears again, but if you run this, and then I click on the show favorites, the cat straight away disappears as it's not one of our favorites. Now I will go ahead and I will use the exact same thing I just did for the monkeys, uh, sorry, for the rats. And I'll click command and um, right click or left click, sorry, make conditional. And inside of here, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to say is fave equal to false. Do this, otherwise empty the space. Empty the view, sorry. And now, if I click on this, you will realize that the dogs and the monkeys remain because they are our favorites, while the cats and the rats disappear. So this was actually it for this episode. I'm glad I finally completed this episode as hiding views was something that I personally found challenging to complete. And so I'm glad that the time has turned and now I'm the one helping someone else with the same issue I had. Please remember to leave a like and a subscribe to my channel. And if you have any feedback, please provide it in the comments below. Other than that, please have a good day and good luck with your coding. Mm -hmm.